we're gonna start this video here where i was going for the dead eye badge i was just playing my career going for badges as everybody do nothing spectacular trying to get mid-range dead eye i'll tell you later that i actually got deep range dead eye this is actually important because the very next day you see i played dallas on the 26 the 27th i'm going to see chris paul after i come back from chris paul coach k actually hit me up like hey prez so I'm, I'm thinking i'm getting a custom jump shot here but the reason why i'm bringing up i was going for dead eye because he say the very definition of a dead like he actually mentions dead eye in the text i don't know if you need to do go for dead eye to get him but it works for me he actually talking about dead eye here so that got him talking to me so now that i know that coach k got his eyes on me now i start actually doing the practices that i was watching on other people's youtube videos on the 26th to 27th where i seen chris paul the 28th is where i played chris paul in them the 29th is where i did the practice 30th i had to play more practice more practice then i played the cavaliers where i actually did get the dead eye badge right here this is me getting the dead eye badge so after i got the dead eye badge i come home and coach k hit me up but let's reverse let's go back in time to me actually doing a practice to show you what you actually supposed to do to get coach k to call you you do the practice facility open these are the ones you're supposed to do but sometimes when you get there your teammates aren't around so you can't do it this instance is me waiting for teammates they're supposed to come down the hallway to your left i'm waiting for my teammates they never show up so now i gotta do the team practice all right so now we're gonna go to the team practice because everybody's here now i got people to work with the reason why you need teammates is because somebody has to pass you the basketball this is what you're supposed to do to get coach k attention you got to get rid of the basketball then you hold l2 and r2 hold l2 and r2 without the ball then this will pop up that is what triggers it beat the pro whatever any of the shooting techniques it don't have to be beat the pro it could be any of them practice three pointers any other shooting tips this is what you're supposed to do when you're waiting on coach k this is what you'll get your signature jump shot doing you have to do these practices i was doing these through all of the days after coach k hit me up it's very simple very easy after you get done one practice go ahead and fill up your do your your get pro whatever your beat the pro bar whatever the bar at the top of the screen is fill it up so pick up a basketball you have to score you have to score after you get done a challenge you cannot restart it you have to pick up a ball and shoot around then you can hold l2 and r2 again and that'll trigger a new one after you get done you have to shoot around a little bit to get it to reset now it resets and you see i'm right back to doing a challenge just knock this out real quick real quick and easy we're gonna fast forward it because we don't need to see all this it's just me putting up jump shots so now that we're done we got our bar full now just exit out of the practice mode you see the bar draining the bar going drain so it could go to my progress bar i currently have four attribute upgrades that's why my bar completely empty i had just leveled it up before i did this anyway after you do what you're supposed to do coach k should hit you up to come and see him for what then he just gonna ask you for whatever he needs to ask you to do and you should get a hangout that's how you get coach k attention you have to do those practices just throwing up jump shots press l2 and r2 when you're in the gym to get coach k to notice your jump shot just work on your jump shot until coach k hits you up that's what you have to do now i'm gonna get a text from my agent coach k gave you something what was it the jump shot creator now we are gonna actually transition to the jump shot creator here you go down to options you go to jump shot creator and you can just have fun with it you create a base you create one release and you create another release then you can blend them together and choose what speed you want them to be so basically they start you out with what you want you want that aldridge very fast that's how 2k just give it they just give it aldridge aldridge very fast from the rip you don't even got to edit it just save that bad boy and you good to go i know how most of y'all are but me i'm gonna actually see what i can do with this little jump shot creator i'm gonna have some fun with it this is just me showing you what you can do with it i wasn't being serious so you can choose which base you want i decided to leave aldridge 
right here this is a bar but it's already preset that's normal if you go over one that's quick then you go over another one that's very quick it's a preset bar with three different levels but the bar below it actually is what's from 100 percent to zero percent this is how you blend two jump shots together but since they're both Aldridge, they both look exactly the same duh anyway i decided to blend kevin duckworth with patrick ewan i was bored i ain't what you want me to do i was just playing around with the little feature i don't i know kevin duckworth is a stupid jump shot so that's why i picked that one first and foremost i just wanted to pick another random one so i just seen ewan and picked patrick ewan now we got it on very quick now we're going to try to blend them at 50 percent now we're trying to see we're going to slow it down so we can actually see it better this is me putting at 51 49 basically 50 percent i ain't get it perfect i don't care now we can see and how it's looking more and more like kevin duckworth the more i put it up to his ball it's just a stupid jump shot this looks nasty when i put it fully duckworth you see he just go completely one-handed but when i kind of put it back to you and he kind of has his left hand on the ball i like that that's actually pretty dope how you can create the shot now we're gonna play around with different bases to see how ugly the jump shot can get so we're gonna just play around and that's it basically that's how you get the custom jump shot i hope you enjoyed the video i hope this helps you out